Closer to home a few years ago, racist harassment in Bennington led Kaya Morris to resign from the Vermont House. And now a Canadian documentary film is telling the story to a wider audience. Fox 44's Mike Hoey attended a screening of that film in Essex Junction tonight and he joins us now live in the studio. Mike? Well, Lauren, the full title of that film is Backlash, Misogyny in the Digital Age. You'd be introduced in the film not only to Kaya Morris, but also several more high-profile women targeted by online harassment. A couple of bad tweets. What are you going to do? Kaya Morris herself couldn't attend Thursday night's screening of Backlash at Essex Cinemas, but her husband, James Lawton, says the three-year process of documenting the family's ordeal was a difficult experience. We had to tell the certain stories over and over and over again, but it also that makes you relive those things that, you know, it kind of triggers the trauma. Lawton is not one of the people from whom you'll hear the most often during the film, but he is seen and heard from on several occasions. I was explaining to him some of the things that happened, um, where they happened, a couple of things that we went through, uh, sitting at the dining room table with Kaya talking about how it took all of our security and safety away from the house that, you know, that was the house I grew up in. In fact, he says backlash should come with a trigger warning for audiences. But as drawn out as the filmmaking process was, it did come with a benefit. This tells a more complete story, almost from start to, it's not ever done, but, but wrapped up. I mean, it even involved the settlement against the town and stuff like that, because they took so long, they were able to throw those things in. Um, and I think they did a really good job, which I was really happy about, of putting at least a couple of the perpetrators in the movie. One of the co-directors and co-writers returned home to Montreal Thursday night. She'd been in Vancouver to screen Backlash at a film festival on Wednesday. Kaya's story is so disturbing and, and, and we don't want to see that these things are happening. You know, like in Canada, we don't want to see these things that are happening. And in the U.S., I'm sure it's the same. It certainly is the same. And Lauren, Essex Cinemas is also hosting another screening next week of Backlash, Misogyny in the Digital Age. Here's a look at the, the poster for the film right here. That screening is next Thursday night. Showtime is 7 o'clock. Live in the studio tonight, Mike Coey, Fox 44 News.